Hey y'all, it's Betsy and Mom from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden tour of my house. So it is May right now and Mom just got back from a cruise to Australia, Hawaii, Fiji, oh, yep. Tahiti, Hawaii, all kinds Seattle. of fun places without me. But she did bring back some Pandora charms for me. So if you caught that haul, that's where she's been. While she's gone, somehow I got in charge of coming over here daily to water things in her garden. And then it turned into planting, th purchasing and planting things well, she for kept, her garden. She kept saying, oh, I found this. Oh, I found this. I said, oh, for buy me one. Garden. Buy me one. Buy me one. Buy me one. So don't worry. Just because she was out of the country, her garden was still <coughs> being worked on. Yes. So it actually looks really good right now almost all of the plants are in bloom in the front yard she's been <coughs> coughing and weeding all week yes very excited and so we figured while everything's in bloom while everything's being weeded we yes. will go ahead and bring you through for a may garden tour in mom's front yard <coughs> and Sorry. she might even stop coughing yes at some point but the sun is, it's like 5.30 right now. And it's still hot. It is hot. It is humid is yes. what it is. It's really so hot. So we're going to get started hot in the old magnolia tree bed behind us <laughs> and show you all the pretty things. Which is not a magnolia tree bed anymore. No, we're going to start calling it the loquat tree. <coughs> cough, cough bed. Yes. 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 All right. Let's go. All right. All right, mom. So tell us what's over here that's in bloom. Okay, well, let's see. Let's start over here. This is my vitex bush, which I, I kind of want to limb up to be a tree. It is really trying to eat the mums underneath it. Mums underneath it yeah. And vitex can get 15 by 20 tall and wide if they really like their yeah. spot. So that's kind of why I want to limb it up. So she wants to make it into more of a vitex tree, but mm -hmm. look at these blooms. They, they are, are just starting. They're going to pop like crazy. As soon as it finishes blooming, I'm going to limb it up. Yeah. But I'm going to, you know, I have. Enjoy the blooms I first. See the flowers first. And you planted this. Two last seasons year. ago? Last year. Last year. Yeah. And it has already at least doubled in size. Oh, yeah. It's gotten really... And it, it just it loves its place. So, so if she does not limb it up or trim it back, it could really take over this whole corner. quite a bit of this garden bed. Yeah. So, And she still wants to be able to underplant it. So yeah. we're going to limb it up and, and go from there. Next to this monstrosity... Oh, yeah. Is another monstrosity. Is a, this is one. This is one plant. Proven one. winners. Super Tunia Bubblegum Vista. Vista. It is one. It, it, and it made it back from last year. And it's year. from last year. She planted this last year. Now, if mom laid down. <laughs> it is almost as tall as she is. It's ridiculous. I'm like. Maybe my bubble gum will get to get be like two or three feet this year. I had another one right here and I moved it because it was just too much. Yeah. Now all the bubble gum get big. You can see this one, but for some reason this one, maybe this sun oh, on this corner is just the best. It. It's but it's just the best. And then you can see she's got some roses in bloom. These are the knockout roses from my house. From Betsy's house that we transplanted over here last summer when we took this tree out. We put yes. this we put this uh Crepe myrtle. myrtle. And then we moved the roses from Betsy's house. You got to look at the camera when you talk, Mom. And then we, um, we put in some iris that we got from a lady in Dothan. That we stole from a lady in Dothan. She, them. she gave them to us. She moved. And she gave them to us have, involuntarily. I have one truffle of pink gumfrina that also came back winners from that last came year. Back. And those two came back from last year. Look they at these. Gorgeous. These are from last year. Only one of mine came back, but I got six, six or, or seven of mom's came back, yeah. which is really unfair. I literally told her, literally told her if I was taking care of her garden while she was on Australia, not to be surprised if one or two of those disappeared while she was gone. I think not. And I was yeah. very good not to take them. I put trackers on them. You put trackers on them. Yes, yes. <laughs> Here, she's got a few of new uh, butterfly bushes. Yeah, I have a couple of Dusty them Miller. Them. And then this one, I did have to plant a new dogwood tree. My other one just didn't make it. The other one did not, but. but we did put the. Um, these are a tree watering ring, and they make so much difference. They are 
and keeping your trees or uh, larger hydrangeas alive yes. that first year until they get established and can handle mm -hmm. not and being watered. Got, I mean, I've got, I've got drip throughout this whole bed. And it I, wasn't enough. We have a special drip just to this, but we also soaked this, and you can tell it's kind of poopy. It's full it's of water. Like this gel stuff in there. So yeah. I'm going to put some more mulch on top of it. Yeah, you can cover them. But we just soaked them once, and then the type we got, I'll put a link down below. They are great. They absorb moisture from the air, from the rain, from drip. I put on, I put them on all of my trees that I put in this year. Yes. And, and big bushes. You can there. see it's on the crepe myrtle, on the loquat behind me. Um, Not want to make you dizzy, but there, on, on the, the hydrangeas. Um, hydrangeas yeah. They just, we learned about them from Laura at Garden Answer, as everyone does, them. and they're great. So then she's got a few uh, proven winners, White Knight. Yeah. These are sweet alyssums. Sweet alyssums. They're, they're technically... I still have to plant them, but they're sitting in here getting watered. <laughs> they're getting bottom watered. <laughs> they're technically a sweet alyssum as opposed to the Snow Princess, which gets even bigger, is a hybrid. It's a lobularia. Yeah, but this one is... Um, it gets pretty good size, you said. They can get... 12 by 12 inches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So on the tags, it says, I think, 18 inches. Online, yeah. it says they can get one to three feet. Yeah. So, so it just depends on if they like their spot. But I'm just going to put them out here somewhere. I don't yeah. know where. So. I'm doing a whole experiment with these snow princess and ones I grew from seed to see if they can withstand the full sun. Because the ones you grow from seed down here often don't make it full through the summer. Yeah. Look at these. These never performed like this in my yard. Oh, that, that one right there loves it. Yeah. So. Mine are doing better, my new ones, but they're still not. These are my um, cone flowers from, from Marvin's. The <laughs> we get some good stuff from Marvin's. Marvin's is, is great for us. We love it. So. <laughs> they, they don't water their plants very well, and they struggle a little, but they have great prices. And once you get them in the ground. And once you get them in the ground. They seem to come back. They came back from last year. These are all foxgloves that I grew in the milk jugs from seed for There's mom. And then I think a couple we bought from the nursery that were the same variety, just mm -hmm. further along. And then um, more zinnias. These we grew from seed. Yep. Look at this. I'm going to pinch them back as soon as they're I'm going to cut yeah. the off. Keep them pinching them. I mean, zinnias and cosmos, we grew these from seed, are cut and come again flowers, which means the more you cut them, the more they grow. And we only had, you can tell, one, two, three that made it from the milk jugs. And so I went ahead and seeded this whole area so she has a more full look. Yeah. And then um, we planted... Nobody can hear you, Mom. What were you saying? We planted all these um, gladiolas. Yes, those were all from Corms. Those are the same ones. I'll link below, but I did a whole video for y'all on how I to plant like those. Here, here. Like all around this and there's a few over there that are already blooming you'll yeah. get to see but we also what we did was we dug up these all right mom if you're not looking at the camera they to... really can't hear you these are louisiana iris from my grandmother's house my great grandmother in louisiana i dug them up and brought them from colorado with me i've had these here for 11 years in the backyard so i dug up some and put them here and then i have some more over there this stand is great that. look at this so they get really big and really tall. They're a yellow Louisiana iris. They're yellow. They're real pretty flowers. Eventually, I'm going to get some from mom as well, but... I like them just for the foliage because it's yeah. a really nice sword foliage. And then these... Well, it's similar to the glad foliage. These Nandinas were here. And they're on the struggle bus, but they're fine. The, um, the big magnolia tree. Yeah. I did transplant this rose, and I kind of wound it all around, but it's just growing up the top. I'm going to have to... This is the same rose that I have at my house that's growing up my porch. And it, it was not supposed to be a climber. It was supposed to be a bush. And it's obviously not. And even climbing, it only ever, it's like a second story tower plant. It only ever blooms or has leaves on the top, even when you prune it back, even when we fertilize it. I'm just, I'm not 100% sure I like it. But the blooms were so pretty. Blooms now, really mom's blooms are more white cream. Yeah, they are. Look at that. I mean, they're beautiful. 
mine are pink pink like and they smell really good baby pink i have two one in the backyard and one out here oh. and then she's got more golden rod these are the cone flowers yeah, that one are, has um, really good weed in it these are uh Black-eyed Susans. Oh, Black-eyed Susans. Goldstrom. Goldstrom. And the Walker's Junior Low yes. cut mint. Oh, look, there's another weed. I these get these weeds Darn, weeds are everywhere. I had this weed. I had a big, bad vine in here, and I just have to come out and weed every day. Yeah. And I think eventually it'll stop. But it, it just, it's trying to come up from where the, it was all vines. Yeah, this, this whole area was vine. This is the only azalea that stayed. There was three of them in this bed. And this is the only one that survived. And it's kind of a funky shape, but it's very pretty when it blooms. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna cut it back. But, I like it. But I like it, so. it. To me it you know what it reminds me of? A bonsai tree. Yeah. Here's another one of those weeds. Yep. This guy's cardboard all over it. Here's Under a petunia. Bush. Here's the Louisiana iris. And then I have glads. Right and here. glads. And glads all over there. There's another weed in with I the foxgloves. I can't get it. No. Yet. I don't dare touch And it. then these are those same zinnias, self-seeded. And you can see. She seeded them. You seeded them. They're doing great. I know I seeded them. I watered them every day. I planted them. Um, but then we planted this junior walker. He will eventually get 36 inches wide and cover this yeah, whole we'll area. Move some of these so I think we're going to move these front ones. Because I seeded those before we planted this. Yeah. So, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm claiming at least three of these. No, you're not. Yes, I am. They're in my house. I planted them and watered them. The I will come pull them all out of the damn there's ground. there's another butterfly, butterfly bush. bush. Betsy just planted that for me. Yes. And then we're back to the Vitex. I I put in because I love the red color in the in the, in the fall. fall and winter. I have them all throughout my bed because they just get so nice and red. There was a cute bee. Oh, he's back. He's right there. Don't mess them up. Bees love these. They are like the lilacs of the south. Oh, and those are bumblebees. They're bumblebees, yeah. Because, of course, we can't grow lilacs yeah. here. No, nope, we can't. They just, they like colder weather. Yeah, they we can't know. handle our heat. But I do like these. My neighbor has a bunch of these down the way. They're about 15 feet high. Yeah. What were They're you like, saying about the mums? Okay. Um, these mums were just... I got them at Walmart a couple years ago, and I planted them. These are two years old. Yeah. <coughs> they bloomed up on the porch first year. Then last year they bloomed here, and now this year they're here. Oh. Let's go ahead and head over in front of the house. All right, so we are in front of the house, and we're going to go all the way down and around. So this is Mom's plant shop. This is my stash. We went to the nursery today. I bought I bought bee balm and white scora and homestead purple verbena. Yes. So and then some milkweed. The milkweed right here. All the milkweed we seeded is pretty much decided to yeah, die. She doesn't like us. We don't know why. We're going to seed some more. And then she got this, which is a red wine salvia. Yeah. I planted one of these a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Mom just had to have it. Yeah, they're pretty. So I, I, I could use this color. I don't, I don't have this color. No, I have quite a bit of burgundy since all of my Laura Pedlum is this kind of burgundy yeah. purplish foliage, but yeah, I mom don't, really doesn't. I don't have any. I, I have more blues and yellows. You and like pink. more reds and yellows and yeah, stuff yeah. than I prefer cool tones, the purples and pinks. Right. Every single pink flower mom has in this garden is because I bought one and she had to have it. Yeah, because I don't usually do pink. She wouldn't do pink otherwise. All of this. The gum, they are so I was nice. going to say, and yeah. I don't even think she'd buy the bubble gum except it gets so big and it comes back. Yeah, I like that. Because when they came out with the new mini yellows up here, she immediately went for yellow. yellow instead of pink. Yeah, I like yellows more. Yeah, you've always liked yellow more. Mm -hmm. I don't mind yellow, but it's not my favorite. Yep. So... Came back. I, gotta go get yep. a couple more. I gotta get some more hostas, dusty miller and ferns, and glads. The, um, salvia. These are the April night salvia. So this is what convinced me I needed some. And they is, are so nice. They are just about bloomed out. I just took all the dead leaves, um, just 
just the dead flower stalks off and they're yes. half of they're ready to bloom they're again. ready to bloom again i literally today just took them off mine are just barely coming back in a bloom but they like i said everything in my yard really wilted when i planted it for some reason and then her lantana that she planted last year. This is why I picked lantana up this year. Yeah, it I is it in insane. Cover, it yeah. is. So instead of lamb's ear like I got, mom got lantana. And it's working. Yeah, it's really nice. Now, of course, depending on your area, some lantana in the south can be invasive yeah. if it creates seed pods. So you do need to check that. This is a sterile variety. So we're good to go. But I, I like having, I got it all. Oh, I got it all at Marvin's. Two dollars a four pack, a four yeah. inch pack. They're great. Yeah, it was, it was the best deal I got that year. And there she's got the pincushion flowers. They have been looking fabulous, but we got a really hard, oh, we're going to have to peek over the fence, you guys. Um, We got a really hard thunderstorm last night. Oh, gosh, yes. yes. And, um... <laughs> And the pincushion flowers, these kind of long, floppy blooms, really struggled. I think this car is literally dying, dying in front of, in front of the house. <laughs> like, <laughs> he literally just came to a stop. So, they, they'll, they, they keep blooming. They bloom continuously. Mom has a problem. I, I like to she cannot stop deadheading or weeding. If she sees it, it must happen immediately. Yeah. So... We planted all those. We planted all those iris, and they're all coming back. They haven't bloomed, but we got some nice foliage. None of my iris have bloomed except the little white ones. So I'm thinking, Maybe and in later. some of the iris groups I'm in, they've said none of their iris have really bloomed yet. They might be a later. Bloom except iris. for I have some in the back. A couple tall iris that have bloomed already, but a bunch of people were saying none of the pinks or purples have really bloomed yet. So I'm guessing it's just it's been a weird season, you know. But this some black eyed Susans back here. Yes, she loves those. Flower. And then her original. This is an endless summer hydrangea. If you caught my endless summer, it is pink. <laughs> now we did not catch these in time. We forgot to put the soil acidifier on them, so they are more pink than blue this year. And this side, just look at this side of the beautiful. day lilies. They're beautiful. Beautiful. The other side is on the struggle bus, so just yes. remember this. This side is just so nice, and I love this Stella Doro because it just reblooms. She just bought a like beautiful flush. Twenty more of these in, to um, put all around. April before I left. Yes. And now it's blooming. And it's again. it's blooming again, and the gardenias are blooming. And that one is I should have went through and dead hit yeah. some of it. But the other one on the other side is all blooming. You ready, Betty? And then he, these are those new Super Tunia Mini Vista. Y yellows and i love them they and they're they can, deadhead themselves they deadhead themselves they're constantly in bloom yep they look great and this is two plants per pot yeah so a little overkill. as the summer keeps going they will spill over you can see how much yeah. they've filled in we'll get big. now this is why we told you to remember the other side that you yes now i seeds. seeded these we did these in milk jugs and, and they, they they're doing nicely they're doing great it's just a question of whether they'll make it through the heat of yeah. the summer. Hard to say. So now this one, my gardenia is more blooming. Yes. On this side. But this one did not bloom for like two weeks when the other one was blooming. So, so this they're on a little behind. slightly different schedules. So. Now this one had less blooms than the other one when we put the acidifier on, and you can see it does have a few, a few blue blooms. So I think if we had put the soil acidifier on it sooner, <laughs> it would all be blue. Yeah. I personally like the pink, but like this looks more like Bloomstruck than yeah. it does the original blue. Yeah. Now, these poor little day lilies. They, they were overrun eaten. with aphids. aphids. We tried neem oil. We've tried spraying them off. They are finally. They're getting better. Getting better, but they're going to have to come back and rebound before they look good. Yeah. And then, I mean, the lantana is just. But some of the lantana is doing great over here, and some of it's just starting to bloom. Yeah. Because as you go down, it gets this more way, shady. It gets more shady. And then there is the gara. Oh, that's gara. I just planted that, this, and it is going crazy. This is what these, I cut some of these down there. <laughs> I was imagining when I planted my gara, and my gara three died, and three are they're pretty, but they're wispy. Mm -hmm. And mom, who wanted the wispy, has bam, bam, bam. 
this, this one is Gara. So, again, if this disappears from her garden, huh. nobody tell her where it went. But you can see it's kind of going over into one of those lantanas. It's It's trying to take over a lantana and a daisy. Yeah. So what kind of daisies are these? Just a Shasta daisy. That's what I thought. The Shasta daisy, yeah. This so. is one of those roses from Betsy's house. This one was blooming, and it's all budding again. It's going to bloom again. Okay, well, they're knockout roses, so they do. They just continuously bloom. Yep. They're really pretty. And then another group of the April night salvia. Yeah, and I literally went in and took all these off. I, I have a whole bucket full. And, and if you deadhead them, they will just keep coming back. They, they have buds all over. As long as they're happy. And there's my lupins. Again, I grew these from seed. In the milk jugs. In milk jugs. And mine are, they're fine, but they're like three, four inches tall. Yeah. This and one is like on steroids. Mom's on steroids. Yeah, it's, I don't know it's not fair. But then I have the peonies over there. They're not. My fair. peonies are doing better than mom's. My peonies are doing way better than mine. But mine are coming. They're coming along. And you can see she has one glad bloom stock here. And then we let the mums bloom this year. I'm going to cut them back. They always say to cut your mums back until so the, 4th of, the 4th of July. So I'm going to cut them back by the 4th of July and see if they bloom again. A bunch of people in our zone say that because we have such a long growing season that we can get two rounds of blooms out of them. Yeah. We're not 100% sure that's a true thing, but we're trying it with a couple. Yeah. And we'll see. Oh my God, I'm so hot. <laughs> Bitty, bitty, are you hot? And that butterfly bush is loving it right there. Yes, this butterfly bush is supposed to get two by three, but he might get bigger. Yeah, he's, he's loving it. He's loving and then this is another zinnia that I seeded. It's a green envy, and I think it's going to be really pretty. Those lime green blooms under the Japanese maple with that deep yeah. burgundy red. Yeah. And it is doing really well. And then just today... We've been trying to find a, a, top. a top for this bird bath, and we finally found one. Yeah. It still needs to be leveled, and we're probably going to move this pot to my house. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Yeah. But it it's looking really good there. Yeah, I think it's going to look pretty there. And then what else do you have over here? Bush. Do you? Because we can't hear anything you're saying backwards, mother. Bush and another bubblegum vista. And, oh, this is one of the ones that you bought for me at Agapanthus. Yes, yeah, so this is that Ever Twilight Agapanthus. I did a whole video on it. Yeah, I've, I've not seen it yet. No, mine is just blooming, but it is supposed to rebloom. Um, where is it? I don't know, at the front maybe. It is supposed to bloom, reblooming. All season, summer to fall, not just in the spring. Yeah. So we'll see, but that's how the nursery uh, build it. They posted it on Facebook. I found it on there, but I keep losing it. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I told her to get me one. Uh, but they were $22, so we only got one as opposed to three. And now that I bushes too when I moved in. Yeah, so we don't know what kind it is, but it's very pretty. It's and it has dark pink. dark pink and purple blooms. Yeah. yeah. And then I have a bottle brush, but it hasn't bloomed yet. Um, this is the side I'm kind of working on. Yeah, so. we're just, I mean, you can see the cardboard still over here. She's still putting things in this half of the garden bed. And then, of course, here on the other side, these are all big camellia bushes that were here when mom moved in. She's got giant azaleas that, back here. giant, that were here long before we were of course mom's house is like a hundred years old so then we have the woodland bed which, which despite the mulch just gets pine needles like crazy so we're not we're gonna going to fight it. it but i do need to weed yes this side hasn't been weeded but my uh gomprinas came back yeah and the bubble gum you don't want to talk back. about anything over there oh i do have a, um hydrangea right there it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a blue it's a little original and it's pink and then i do have some uh yellow cone flowers yeah. and these they're are, doing pretty good these right here these are the ends of uh 
Spider wart. Spider wart. It just comes up naturally in the yard. So some people call it. it a weed. Some people call it a flower, but mom likes it. Mm -hmm. I leave it has pretty little blue flowers. You just want to pull it anywhere you don't want it because it can become invasive. And then I have a magnolia back there and a nice... Um, That's a, com a gardenia, not a magnolia. Oh yeah, it's a gardenia and a, a real nice hydrangea. Oak leaf hydrangea. Oak leaf hydrangea. And, a and a dogwood. dogwood. This is where we planted mom's milkweed back there and it just did not make it. Sizzled out. And then her Veronica, which is doing fabulously it, it all came back that one didn't come back all the way but yeah the one in the middle who is so hot oh, boy, my, my day lilies are looking nice i'm still working on my brick edging yes we went and got this brick edging from a man down the way he gave it to me for free so i have to have to clean it up before we can it, use it, it and put it nice edging like that the dogs love it it's like the dogs think it's the yellow brick road they the walk on road. it That's a Peggy Martin climbing Peggy rose. Martin. And she bloomed like crazy this spring. She gave us a beautiful show this spring, and she still has lots of buds, so she will bloom again. And she's growing. But, but she growing. needs uh, she needs to be fixed up. Mom just got some new, uh, like, rose twine stuff to re-help attach some of those limbs. And I just kind of push them through, and then this is all in one year. Not and even one year. We planted this, this the end of last season. And then, and then she has some hookra that are blooming beautifully. Mm -hmm. I really like these. I think I need I some of those. Go a lot it. of weeds. Just I haven't, I don't haven't look at the weeds. This this is the one I haven't and the two blooming gladiolus are flanking the bench, which is beautiful. They're pink with a red center, but they're from a variety pack. So we'll we're excited to see like. what the other ones look like. And this is another Vitex, and it's growing like crazy. Yes. It's going to bloom, bloom, bloom. And you can see those blooms are just... They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. And this one was planted last year as well. Last it's year, same as the it's one. This one might have tripled in a year. It's hard to say. Yeah, they, it was smaller to begin with. It was smaller to begin with. The other one was bigger. And the other one has, I think, it has... This has morning sun and mm -hmm. afternoon shade, and that one is the opposite. It so has shade light. in the morning and sun in the afternoon. Yeah. And then this is just kind of... This is the end. The end. I have a <laughs> couple more petunias. Every single one of these petunias came back from last year. Yes. All so of some of them are bigger than others, but they're all... No, actually, I think I planted this one this year. Okay. And that one, one is apple. new. This one is not. And then I have the yellow... Cone flowers and another butterfly bush and then some more oh, glass kind of stock on it too. Yeah. And then this is her bucket of weeds that she's had for That's two it. years. It was just holding and, down uh, the, the this is some creeping board. Charlie. Yeah, it's just a mess. So many weeds. But do you want to bring them to the, the backyard? backyard? Oh yeah, now you get to see the backyard. Come on, Betty. Let's right. go show them. Let's go see you. This is what fell last night. So mom came out this morning to this giant branch falling in that thunderstorm last night. Yep. Come on, Biddy. <whistles> Come on. Good job, Biddy. Good job. Come on. Biddy, you're so fast. She is very fast. Come on. Come fast. The gate's closing. So, I mean, this is... This is literally a whole tree. A quarter of my yard. And luckily, for some grace of God, it did not hit the house. It didn't hit the wires. It did not hit the wires. And it did not hit, it hit the, garden. the garden, except maybe a little bit. Yeah. So, if we come around the corner here, you can see up here where it's split. And then right around the corner... This is the part of the back garden that it hit. So it definitely hit this hat part. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully under those branches, there's, there's still life. It didn't hit anything that I think it's going to break. It didn't hit any trees or bushes. The dogs are all coming to see us. Like, hey. hey, Cookie. Hey, Cookie. Hey, Cookie Bookie. Hey, Cookie. Hey, Freya. Andrea, Cookie, Chip, Come on, Chip. 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 
Chip is still a baby. Chip thinks he can just go right through this garden. Well, he tore off baby. half your fence. Oh, yeah, half my fence. Hey, Chippity Doodah. Hey, Chip. Daisy was coming, but I think she got stuck. She gets stuck. She's blind. Daisy's blind. So, so yeah. yeah they made a mess. So, so yeah. we're going to have to get this uh, chopped up, taken down. Let me go to the other side. This is the original stand of Louisiana Iris from my Nana's house. Again, she dug these up, took them to Colorado, planted them there. You had lots of them there, and then you brought... I just brought two pots. I was going to say, just a couple pots yeah, down pot. here, and they have multiplied. Eventually, we will show you a tour of the back garden, but we keep getting... It's a mess right now. <laughs> we keep getting distracted with the front garden. Here's the beautiful... Dogwood tree I bought, Mom. Yes, I did. I don't know why. It From died. Lowe's. I don't know why it died. Because you didn't plant it. Trees like to be in the ground. Anyway, this is a big mess. But luckily, it just really just hit the edge of the garden. It just hit the edge, and uh, hopefully, I don't think it really crushed. I, I don't think it really did any lasting damage to the garden. No, I think I could probably go over there with my saws on. Uh, and start taking the edges off. Yeah. She has a couple roses here, some iris and lilies, but you can see like where the shepherd took and the yeah, and the, 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 rose, even the rose on that, what's that called? A obelisk. Yeah. Like that's kind of where the bigger things start and they didn't take those things down. Yeah. There's okay. Daisy. Hi, sweet girl. And Coco. Coco. Coco is... Brea's mom. Brea is mom's boyfriend's dog. He bought her from us. Yes, he did. Chip. Chip's my bit, my littlest boy. They love Biddy. They're like, oh my god, our friend Biddy came to see us. This is yeah. why they were barking earlier, because they saw Biddy through the gate. Yeah. So I guess this is it for today. And we are going to go inside and take a break before our faces melt. Melt off because it is humid, humid, human. We went to lunch dinner with grandma for mother's day today so that's why we were all dressed up and we figured if we're dressed up we might as well film a garden tour of some kind mm -hmm. but ara oh this arch was so pretty when it was blooming you can see all the rose hips it'll bloom again but oh yeah we're gonna go inside and take a break and we will see y'all in the next garden tour yep. probably maybe end of next. july maybe for mom yep. maybe october yep. see when uh when there's new stuff to show you, but we'll show you the back garden before October for sure. All right. Bye y'all.